Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Crafty Saturday. I'm Michelle Irene, and I'm with Making Memories with Michelle. It's so good to see everybody here. So if you could just say good morning or, you know, tell me what your favorite, oh, Halloween costume was. My favorite Halloween costume of all time. My grandmother made me a gypsy costume when I was a little girl. And it was purple, kind of like this paper that I've got right here. And good morning, Leslie. Good to see you. So I had, I'm pretty sure it was made out of bed sheets. And um, wow. I wore that costume for probably three years until I outgrew it. So, you know, I had a, a gypsy purple striped skirt and I had the headgear and I wore probably every piece of my mother's costume jewelry. And remember, this was the 70s, so there was quite a bit. Um, good morning, Anne. Good to see you. Um... Leslie says she was a scarecrow. That was her favorite costume. Yeah, so I remember, you know, going to school in my costume and wearing it all day and going to the school uh, Halloween carnival afterwards and going trick-or-treating. And I was a gypsy, like I said, for probably three years or so until I just totally outgrew that bed sheet skirt. So um, when I saw this, toil and trouble paper uh it brought back memories of my gypsy costume so i wish we had a gypsy in the uh stamp set we have a cute adorable little witch anyway so i'm gonna hang out here with you for just a few minutes and see who uh who is with us this morning if you would would you do me a favor could you share this with your friends friends and family. Maybe they would like to watch. Oh, Anne, you read my mind. Thank you so much. Good morning, Sean. How are you? Congratulations on new grandbabies this week. Two new grandbabies. That's very exciting. I hope everyone is doing well. Take a look. I got new business cards this week. I kind of like them. Simple, plain, can you see them? And it has the love it, live it, share it from Stampin' Up. That is so cool. And now on the back, it has all my information. I'm not kind of, I'm pretty not sure that I ordered pink on the back. It makes it kind of hard to read. But I like them. They're pretty. I'm going to set that aside. Tiny but mighty. Oh, that's what I love to hear. They're going to be fighters, that's for sure. Hope mom is doing well. You certainly have your hands full at your house for a while, Sean. If you don't know, this makes the second set of twins for um, Sean's family. So, and another one on the way pretty soon. So there's gonna be a lot of Halloween costumes happening over in Sean's family in the future. Today on Crafty Saturday, I wanted to do something spooktacular because my product of the week next week is going to feature the cauldron bubble and cauldron framelits bundle. So this is the, the um, cauldron stamp set that I was telling you about. And here is this adorable little witch. This witch reminds me of my niece who turns 10 tomorrow so a great big shout out to miss e they've been in canada for two weeks and um they're coming home today to san diego and i believe that there is some birthday festivities happening on my sister's block tomorrow um never a dull moment in their house either so we've got the witch and we've got this hat and I think this cat is definitely up to something. It's very cute. And this teeny tiny little frog kind of reminds me of the WB frog. Um, and then we have this paramecium with arms. I'm pretty sure it's a ghost. But um, I'm not 
not sure. Paramecium or uh, Paisley, he's kind of cute. He has kind of an impish grin. You know he's up to something. Um, the Toil and Trouble Designer Series paper is pretty awesome, too. Um, here's this little witch. And I kind of cut off her head in most of these. And then, whoops, sorry about that. Um, this awesome cat. I mean, if you are a cat person, this is cool paper. We've got some cauldrons with creepy crawly little spiders and this um, kind of not quite round polka dots on the granny apple green. That's pretty cool. I really like this um, starry night. And that could be used for other things other than Halloween. We've got some bats that seem to be flying upside down. Maybe they're uh, south of the equator. Stripes and these little silly ghosts. Um, witches hats. These WB frogs that are just like all over the place. Some um, witchy broomsticks and a bunch of pumpkins. So, you know, when you look at this paper, you've got several patterns. You've got the purple stripes, um, which is um, gorgeous grape. You have the black and crushed curry and pumpkin pie night scene. You have these dots. You've got these really pretty pumpkins. This isn't just paper for Halloween, guys. This paper could be used for quite a few things, and I'm pretty excited about it. Um, speaking of this paper and the cauldron bubble, Toil and Trouble bundle and sweet starting in October. So that's Monday. When you spend $25 with me during the month of October, you are going to get a free tutorial, four card free tutorial on these cards. Everything that you need to know on how to make these really cute Halloween cards are going to be free um, with a $25 purchase. So that information is going to be on my blog. Um, and the other thing that's happening in October is I am looking for hostesses. I love to do private parties. I do, you know, today at 10 o'clock, I've got my club coming, and then at 2 o'clock, I've got my club coming. But I love to go out and meet new stampers. So if you are interested in booking a private card party um, sometime in October, you let me know. Hostesses who craft with me um, in October will get to pick 20 free cards from my bin. And let me tell you, I have a ton. Plus, they get a pack of designer series paper and a coordinating ink pad for free. And that's on top of all of the benefits that Stampin' Up! is offering. So I'm a little punchy today, and I say that tongue in cheek. We're gonna be using a lot of punches today. But we're going to also, have you seen this paper and packaging page in the annual catalog on page 192 and 193? This is some, you know, special paper we've got going on, you know, our foil sheets and our glimmer paper, watercolor paper, etc. But we also have um, boxes. So we've got everything from cellophane bags to, to clear treat boxes. But I want to call your attention on page 193. We've got these craft pillow boxes. And these are super cool. You can put gifts in them. You can put goodies in them. And you know what else you can put in them? Halloween candy. Mm -hmm. That's right, you could put Halloween candy or a Halloween gift card for your favorite spooky person. So they come in this craft paper, they're nice and thick, and they're pre-scored, and they have a dotted pattern, and it's really super easy to make. Watch, push in one side, push in the other, put in your spooky treats, not sure what you'd put in there, maybe some of those birdie bots. Um, every flavor bean from the Harry Potter things. I hear those taste nasty if you get the wrong one. Okay, and it's just that simple. But I'm sure we could make that look a little bit better. What do you think? So I have a piece. I've already cut it out. I have a piece of 12 inch because our designer series paper, you know, is 12 by 12. This is a 12 by 2 piece of paper with the um, witchy hats. 
and on the back are the frogs, but I'm going to go with the hats today. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it in half. Now remember, all dimensions are going to be on my blog at www.makingmemorieswithmichelle.com. And I have the banner triple punch. And if you don't know how to open our punches, on the back there's a lock. And just slide the lock and it's going to pop right open. So what I want to do is make sure that my banner is punched evenly on both sides. So I'm going to kind of just take that and I'm going to scooch it in. And I'm just going to give it a little punch. It's looking better already. Okay. And it looks like I cut that just a little bit um, long this morning. So I'm just going to trim that up. Sorry about that. That's what happens when you craft before coffee. <sighs> okay, so now I have this cute little banner and that Okay, we just gave it just a little a little fold. We don't need a big one. That's going to fit right around here. Kind of like a belly band, right? Is that looking cute or what? I think it's looking better already. I have some tear and tape. And I am going to tear just a little bit and put it right around the edge here. You know, if you had new grandbabies, you could put little things in here. You could put a pair of those little cute booties, right? You could. How cute would that be? Okay, you've got a little witch. And I'm going to take that tear and tape, and that's not quite even, so make sure it's even in the back. Tear off that adhesive strip. I cut my nails this morning. Kind of hard to do. Okay. And you're just going to match up your edges and hold that down, okay? Now, it's looking better, but we can do more. Let's see. Like I said, you know guys, I have one, two, three, four, five punches out here and I've got some paper, so let's play. I really don't know what this is gonna look like, so your guess is as good as mine. I have, let's see what I want to do. I have my starburst punch. So I have some Mango Melody paper, which is one of the coordinating colors in the Toil and Trouble. So that's going to be my base. I lock that back up. And I have this tag punch and the stars. Ooh, spooky looking. I like it. Okay. Now, I have a piece of basic black, and I have my 1 and 3 eighths inch scallop punch. Let's punch that out. So we're kind of making a, a night nice sky there. Okay, I'm going to move that out of the way. Then I have my punches, and these are super cool and super cute. I have the one and one eighth scallop punch. I'm just going to give that a quick punch. And then, what do I have? Oh, some crushed curry. So in the Cauldron Bubble stamp set, um, there's a stamp that has some stars. So ink that up, stamp it off. Very cute, very cute. And I'm going to stamp it off because I'm going to stamp words on it so I don't want it to be super dark. Oh, look at that. And then Memento Black ink. And I always test it. You guys know that. I always give it a good test first. And trick or treat. All right, move my stamps and my ink out of the way, or I'll start wearing it. And I'm just gonna build my layers. That's gonna go on 
black. This is going to go on that night sky tag. And then we're going to put this on our starburst tag. Whoops, that went a little over. It'll be all right. Ah, not centered. I do like snail because it will allow you to pick it up if you make a mistake. Okay. Now, bring back in my box. And I have some black baker's twine here. So let's cut a length of black baker's twine. Actually, let's get fancy. Let's double up that twine. And I'm going to come over here. Ah, sorry about that. It's like jumping all over the place. It's got to be those frogs on the back side, don't you think? Tie a knot. And a bow. have some dimensionals right here. Hmm. I really did cut my nails too short. I can't get the backs off of those dimensionals. And that's going to go right here on our belly band. And you can leave the ends long or you can trim them up however you like. But there's a cute little treat box for your favorite ghoul or a goblin. And super cute, super simple, just a little bit of stamping and a whole lot of fun. So leave me a comment. What would you put in our little trick or treat bag? And I tell you what, leave me a comment, share my blog, or my Facebook page, share my blog, that would be alright with me too. And I will send you a super cute Halloween card, alright? So, everybody who shares, everybody who comments will get a Halloween card from me. Um, but you have to do it by Monday, okay? I'm going to do a cutoff date. Otherwise, it could be like thousands of people. All right. Wouldn't that be awesome? I hope you have a super great Crafty Saturday. Share a picture of what you're making. I love to see what everybody's doing. Thanks for joining me. Again, all the dimensions and quick tutorial um, will be up on my blog probably tomorrow, okay? I have club today and the lad is coming home from the mountains to spend some time probably not with me he's probably gonna go hang out with his friends but I'm gonna pretend he came to see me all right talk to you later everyone bye